Salutations, everybody. I'm Benjamin Brandon, and this is Value Sessions, where I focus on tech reviews and tutorials to support the quality and the budget of video creators like you. And today, I'm out in the field to review the Joby Gorillapod tripod. And it looks like I'm wearing AirPods. A lot of pods in this video. In preparation to this video, I asked myself one question. Ben, why are you reviewing a product that's been out for a while? To which I responded, that's a good question. So this comprehensive review is going to be a little different. Not only am I going to review the product, I am going to show you 10 ways to use the Joby Gorillapod tripod out in the field. And what better way to do that than using the beautiful city of San Francisco as my test subject? Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. Thanks, Nerdy Ben. Let's get started. I almost forgot the sexy shots. Roll them. It is important to note this comprehensive review is for the Joby Gorillapod Tripod SLR Zoom Edition with the ball head extension. You dig? Let us start with the ball head. It goes right on top of the tripod. It comes with a level. Simply screw that under your camera and you're good to go. Loosening the dial itself, you're able to move left, right, up and down, all around. Tighten it back up when you have your shot. Finally, to remove your camera, simply hold the release button, hold your camera steady, and pull. Wait. The weight of the tripod itself is only three quarters of a pound. Round that up with the ball head, it's probably just a pound. It holds up to 6.6 .6 pounds in total, which includes a shotgun mic and a decent sized zoom lens. However, if you're just that badass and need something that carries more weight, you can upgrade to the Gorillapod Focus, which holds 11 pounds in total. What is it made of? Mainly TPE. What does that even mean? It stands for thermoplastic elastomers, which essentially is a mixture of both plastic and rubber polymers. Oh, uh, okay. I just said elastomers. <laughs> and last but not least, it still has a quarter inch screw in adapter. Let's quickly note that the first use is what you're looking at right now, which is a roll. Railing. One of the best ways to take full advantage of the tripod's durability is by wrapping it on a rail. Doing so allows for great footage in angles and places in which you may not get otherwise. The ball head allows you to perfectly level the shot as it's very easy to have an unlevel shot when you're doing something like this. Flat and level. Extending all your legs on your tripod gives you a stabilized shot on a platform. The advantage here is you're just a few inches off the platform which eliminates it from the shot entirely. And it's just another way to get really dope time lapses. Vlogging! And this is one that I'm sure you're all familiar with. The only tip here is to make sure the tripod is bended a little bit, extend your arm to max reach, don't look at your viewfinder, and I would normally recommend a wide angle lens stabilizer. Probably one of the most underrated uses is using it as a stabilizer. It makes for a very steady shot, able to tilt up and down. You could even spin around for transitions or fun dream sequences. Just make sure that one leg is at the pit of your elbow, securely holding on to the one in the front. That's it. Portrait. Another way to take full advantage of the ball head itself is to use it in a portrait mode. Bend the camera all the way to the left or the right, and there you go. Makes for great portrait pictures or even a selfie. Sky shot. Ever wonder how people get really good shots with things that are really tall? Well, you can do it too. Mixing the combination of the flat mode and flipping your ball head all the way down, you're able to get a really cool sky shot. Making sure all your legs are extended, of course, you get this really cool shot. Punning! Another underrated use is for panning. This does take some wrist control and some strength. You are able to use two hands as seen here. This gives you a very professional looking shot, having such control of your tilting abilities along with your panning. you're able to do it pretty easily and smoothly. Just make sure you rest your wrist. In a tree! And one of my personal favorites, in a tree! Just like a monkey. Oh, ah, ah, ah. 
Another way to take advantage of the full durability, wrap all three legs on a trunk. The advantage of using a tree versus a rail is it's not as slippery. So if you find a tree, use it. And that's it. Level your shot and you get something cool like this really cool time lapse. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Mailbox? Yes, a mailbox. This is my other favorite use. Understand one thing, mailboxes are everywhere in the city. Take advantage of them. No one else uses them for any other reason. Extend one leg out, one leg wrapped around the husk, and one leg hooked on. That's it. Level it up, and you get a really cool time lapse. Dope. And that's a wrap. If this video provided you some value, smash that like button for me. If you want to receive a heads up on the next video, you should subscribe, baby. And die. And I We'll see you on the next value session. Peace. Compatibility. 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 What is it compatible with? Don't worry, it still has the thermoplastic elastomers. <laughs>